I'm excited. Detox at night. Oh, man. We're on fire right now. We are really on fire. And I'll tell you what, you know, just to be honest with you, it's like the same thing I, I felt coming into this. It's, I, I'm super busy. I'm always on the go. I'm traveling. I, I honestly feel like every now and again, I'm just like one step away from falling off a plan. <laughs> so I just want to know how... How do you make this work? Like, what do you suggest for making this work with my busy life? Okay, so I got some news for you. It's not the easiest thing to make your food work. We're yeah. all busy. We all live, like, I feel like in a daily food frenzy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's the reality of it because that's, that's why people struggle. That's why we struggle. So there's some real cutting-edge strategies that you can do that, that will work for you and your family. Okay. You ready to learn them? Oh, let's hear them. Okay, so the first thing is that you got to own your grocery shopping. So owning your grocery shopping is not shopping hungry because right. when you have low blood sugar, we crave everything in there. You walk into that store and you just smell the bread. You smell <laughs> everything. So don't shop hungry. Okay. So the second thing is you got to have a plan. Okay. So make a list of your proteins, fats, and carbs that you want to get and your free food. So you're going in with an agenda. Then you want to shop the store's battle map. So I call it battle map because I feel like you're entering a war zone at oh times, okay? So you want to go on the outside because that's where you're going to have your fruits, your vegetables, your lean meats, your dairy products, and the in part of the store is where you have all the processed foods. Okay. So make sure that you know in and when you have to go in and get your grains and your rice, you're going in and you're out of it. So the other thing you really have to do is you got to set a weekly grocery shopping. You know, have you ever taken on the week with an empty fridge? Uh, I have done that and have not been successful. <laughs> no, you're scrambling. You, you eat anything at that point. Yeah. So you really have to make sure that you stock up and that you have a consistent schedule. Now, the next thing, once you have your owning your grocery shopping, is you got to create your MRFK. Now, do you know what MRFK stands for? I think I do. Can I tell the audience? Hell, say it. What is it? <laughs> your mobile readiness food kit. Yes, and this is how I, I learned this years ago. I was coaching a client, and he pulled up in his car, and he said, Mark, Mark, come out of here. And I said, what? He's all, I, he was stuck in traffic all the time. Yeah. He opened up his trunk, and he had all of this, <laughs> like, this robust, his proteins, his fat. And he called it, I call it my MRFK, my That's mobile awesome. food kit. And I said, it's amazing. So, you really were on the go. Yeah. So whether you're stuck in traffic, whether you're shuttling kids around, sure. whether you're traveling, you have to have food available. Okay, so this sounds serious. Like it is what, serious. What, what it's is like this? serious. <laughs> what, is the, what does it look like? So it's basically you need five main things. Number one, you need a cooler. Okay. okay. So I love a cooler that you like that's not all not too small that can actually hold your stuff. Okay. You need reusable ice packs. All right. Now just don't get one ice pack because it, it happened to us too many times. Yeah. You bring your cooler home. You don't put the ice pack away, and now you can't keep your stuff right. cold. The third thing you need is you need a you need a water bottle and shaker. So you want to make sure that you're drinking your water and that you're able to shake up with your Zen your Zen Fuse shake. Of course. The other thing is you need stainless steel containers, um, baggies, something to store your stuff in. And then the most important, you need your grab and go proteins, fats, and carbs. So you got to choose your favorite protein. So it could be obviously Zen Fuse. You could do turkey slices. You can do anything that's gonna allow you to stay on plan with that. You can do a protein bar. Then you could do your carbohydrates, which would be your fruits, your vegetables, and then you can bring some nuts. So find your favorite grab and go protein, fats, and carbs to fuel your MRFK. That's incredible. So the reality is, this is great, and I love this, and that's great for during the week when you're working, when you're traveling, things like that, but the fact of the matter is, we all go out to eat. It's a yes. part of our lives. So when we're talking about Going to restaurants and, and eating out. How do we do that successfully? Well, that's, you know, what's fun is now you're starting to see the big picture. You're winning your grocery shopping. You got your MRFK. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to eat out. Now, when you eat out, are you the boss or is the restaurant the boss? I'm the boss. You're the boss. I, they call me the special order queen. <laughs> I, I can't order anything off the menu. <laughs> you have to be. And this is, uh, you know, for this is my biggest challenge is I, people say, Mark, I want to be on plan. Yeah. I want to eat. But, you know, I'm a little shy. You're the boss, say it. I'm the boss. You're the boss, you have to say that, and that's the biggest thing. Now the first guideline, once you accept you're the boss, yeah. is you never go to a restaurant hungry. Mm. First thing you do when you're hungry is what? Wow, you make bad food choices. You reach for the bread, <laughs> yeah. right? So the biggest thing is have a shake before, mm. if, it's, if, if you feel like it's gonna be, if there's a wait or yeah. you're running late, have a mini meal for your MRFK to make sure you're set up. Then, when you look at the menu, choose your protein. You always start with that. So if I'm going to have chicken, yep. I know that I need some fat and some carbohydrates. Okay. If I'm going to have salmon, that has protein and fat. So you choose your protein first. You then choose your fat. So it could be salad dressing for your salad. Yeah. If you want to have um, avocado in your salad, so okay. choose one of your fats. And then you choose your carbohydrates. 
So when you eat out, you want to make sure you choose your protein, fat, and carb. Then when you order, you want to get everything on the side. Ah, oh, on the, the side. The sauces. It comes the in dressing. smothered in so much stuff. I so know. So on the side makes sense. So you want to order that stuff on the side so it's not saturated. So you choose. Once again, you're the boss, so you're able to do that. Perfect. And then when we start thinking about alcohol. Now, we're not doing alcohol in the ignite phase, but remember, this is something you're going to do for the rest of your life. It's not an even exchange, yeah. but you cut your complex carbohydrates, sure. the potato, the rice, and you have your protein, your fat, and the alcohol just to minimize the damage. And that's really how, you know, because this isn't rocket science. Right. You know, once you get the plan, once you're set up to win, now you have the strategies to make it work when you're grocery shopping, when you're on the go, and when you're eating out. You're the boss. I love that. You have to be the boss, too. And I know at a lot of restaurants, anytime I special order anything, they're totally fine. If I say, hey, no oils, no salt, yeah. no whatever, totally easy and completely doable. Yeah, and that's the thing. They want you to come back. Right. And they want you to be a customer and you're paying for it. So make sure that you demand that. Absolutely. So part of winning big and having success in the program is planning. So we know we need to grocery shop and we know we need to make good food choices when we're out and about. Yeah, and that's the goal this week. So for this week, you got your groceries. So set a schedule, which you already have. I got mine. Make sure you get your tools for your MRFK okay. and start looking at, test yourself. Mm -hmm. Go eat out and follow these guidelines. The most important thing is that you win this week and you really make your food a priority so that you're able to evolve this into a way of life. And guess what we're talking about next coaching series? What is it? We're gonna talk about how to optimize your exercise. Sounds like a plan to me. So let's do it. Win the food this week, next week, take your exercise to the next level. Let's do it. I love it, I'm ready.